What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. I'm down at the ranch with my brother right now and we're, we're setting some coyote snare traps. A couple days ago I went on Amazon. Amazon primed a dozen coyote snare traps. Um, I've literally paid like 20 bucks. Here they are right now. These things, super, super um, heavy duty. If you've seen one of my other videos, I'll put it up here. Um, we had a big coyote problem. We lost, I think it was like 12 deer. Um, from a pack of coyotes um, Completely wiped out our deer currently one o'clock. Um, it's a bit overcast right now There's a rainstorm that's supposed to come in the next couple days um, So we're trying to get this done right now So all we're doing is driving the exterior of the um, whole ranch and we're looking for holes uh, We just found the first hole actually Carson's setting up the first snare right now Carson want to move real fast to show him what the hole looks like So this is a big enough hole that you can tell that a yote is definitely going through there um, there's also, which is kind of weird, a hole beside it, probably a snake living in there. Um, but this is a hole that, you know, coons are probably using, possums, um, but definitely coyotes are using this hole. It's big enough. We've passed on a couple smaller ones that way, um, that we just didn't feel like were good enough to put an actual snare. But this is the first actual good one. So Carson's already starting the first one. He is currently uh, anchoring the uh, first snare to the fence with just a little piece of wire, as you can see right here. All right, so while he's working on that, I'm actually going to show y'all um, kind of a little bit more detail what one of these snares looks like individually. All right, so this is what you got here. There's not much to it. Um, one end, you got a little bracket, a little loop. And on this end, this is actually what gets attached to the uh, fence. Um, then you're running down, and it's basically all wire all the way to the other side. And on the other side, you get a little plastic thing. Um, this plastic thing actually connects to the uh, fence, which basically holds the um, circle of the snare up. I'll explain that a lot later when I'm actually setting one up. And then you just got your little loop. The loop closes all the way down to about an, a half an inch. Um, and then you just pull it out, just like this. And you can make your loop as big as you want. Um, but usually you want it about something like this. And you want to make sure that the snare, that the loop, is a circle um, formation. You don't want it to be more like droopy. So you want it as circle as possible. Most of the time, once you get these snares um, from Amazon, wherever you get them from a um, trapping company, they already come perfectly circular. Um, you can always kind of stretch them out with your fingers if you need to. I'll put a link down below in the description. Like I said, I got these from Amazon. Uh, but if you want to pick up this exact snare, it'll be down below. Other than like other accessories, other than the actual snare you need, is just a little wire. And that is basically it. Zip ties you can use or wire. Uh, like I said, I'm going to explain a little bit more here in a second. As you all see here, um, we got a little bailing wire. And that's what's holding on this end of the actual snare. We have it on a four cross in the gate in the actual fence. When the tidy starts pulling on this, you can see there's kind of like a spring to it. It's basically like a shock. So it basically helps, you know, it's not just all force on the actual wire itself. As you run down the snare, uh, he is starting the uh, second process for the second uh, bailing wire here. And so this part of the snare, uh, this wire is actually gonna hold the snare in place down below. So that's what he is currently doing there. As you can see, basically that thing's holding it up just how you want it. Guys, there you go. That is the uh, first snare. The hole looks sweet, as you can see. About an inch, inch above the uh, actual ground, inch, inch and a half on both sides of the side walls. You run it up, you got your uh, little bailing wire that's just holding the actual snare in place. You run farther up, and this is your actual bailing wire um, holding the snare. Because once the coyote gets caught in this, this thing's gonna pop off and the only thing that's holding this whole snare in place is this guy right here. So you gotta make sure you tie that down super, super tight. Cause if you don't, other than that, you're gonna lose your whole snare with the yoke and that's bad problems. Good job, first snare complete. We got a whole bunch more to do. All we're doing, we're gonna get back in the players and we're gonna work down this fence line, look for the next hole. There you go, our second hole right there. All right, so this hole definitely looks, this is definitely a yote hole. You can see it's super, super deep. Um, they've definitely been digging, going in and out of here. Got a little teardrop kind of look, but it's still gonna work. Second snare done. Uh, it's got a little bit more of a teardrop kind of look, but it's still gonna work. Got our bailing wire right here, and then we're running up, and we're actually put a zip tie on this one instead of wire. We're trying to uh, save our wire because we don't have too much. But number two is done. Guys, take a look at this hole we just went past. Oh my gosh. This is a mega hole. 
Bam! There is definitely a yoke going through there. Size wise, you can see that thing is it's bigger than my hand. Whole bunch of coyote crap. Oh, dude, running all through here. Take a look at this, guys. He's right on a game trail, too. There's a game trail running right through here. We just found out to save on our um, actual bailing wire. All we're doing here is we're just wrapping the snare into itself um, up and around the fence. That's going to save a whole bunch of wire. It's a pretty good uh, hole here. It's got basically a rocky bottom. And there's actually been two snare traps here before um, when we used to have a trapper back in the days. Um, so this is obviously a hot spot. The way we're going to connect this to the high fence, we're going to wrap one side around the high fence. And now we're going to do, we're going to take the loop of the snare, put it through this little rectangular square bracket. And that saves us from having to use actual wire um, to hold it down. Now you can see right there, that thing, I mean, it's not going anywhere. Just like that. Got a bob wire piece. We're going to cut about inch, inch and a half off. That's what we're going to use for our lower section. Like that. And from there, we got our loop. Um, we want it about, like I say, inch inch from the uh, bottom here. Bring this back a little bit. Put some rocks in. To make sure that yoke doesn't basically go around our whole freaking setup here. Just put a whole bunch of rocks in here. Just like that. Do a little on this side as well. Doesn't hurt. And uh, there you go, guys. That is a prime setup of how you set up a snare. We went ahead and done about five more so far um, throughout this fence line. I'm not filming them all because we have 12 to do. We're almost finished. Uh, check out this hole. This is a pretty good hole. You can tell they've been using this one. Um, for sure, you got some fresh dirt here. But that's gonna be a pretty good hole, as you can see. Top of the wires right here. That's, that's bigger than my hand. Um, definitely a yoke running through here. You can see there's a game trail run on the other side. If you haven't done this yet, I wanna show y'all what it looks like. Um, basically, it's like a test when a yoke goes through um, one of these snares, how quickly the thing actually closes on them. So he's just gonna use his finger, to act like a yoke. Take a look at that. Look how clean and just how smooth um, that gets set right up on them. And all he's doing is putting some uh, sticks on both sides of this uh, snare here to make sure he goes right through the hole. And we are good to go. All right, so we are on our last snare, last one we got. Almost getting back to the house, almost did a full loop um, around the whole ranch. And this last hole is probably the best hole. Um, we have fresh dirt, it is starting to rain, but we have fresh dirt. Literally looks like a yoke came here last night um, and dug under this hole. Take a look at this. See how this dirt is different color? Um, it's really, really looks really moist, uh, like holds holding a lot of water. Look how easy that is to pick up. This is so fresh. And guys, check out the hole. It is giant. Oh my gosh. And it goes right up on the other side. The last, last snare, and it's going to be a good one. All right, well, we just got back to the house. Just finished setting the last one. We have a total of 12 snares out uh, throughout the whole ranch. That was a lot of snares. That literally took, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? You're fine, you're chilling. What up, buddy? What up? Hi. Sorry I didn't get to take you, huh? Huh? What are you doing? Come here. Oh, oh big boy. Big boy. Um, but, what I was saying, it's four o'clock right now. We got here at like, I think it was like two. So I literally took like two hours to do. Uh, plus, I mean, we haven't done snare trapping in a long time, so we had to figure some stuff out. Plus, we were filming as well, uh, so that took a lot of time. But, we got them all out. Plan is now, I'm gonna go turkey hunting. Brother's gonna go turkey hunting. And my dog's chasing a deer right now. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go turkey hunting, and then we're gonna check these, I guess, tomorrow morning. So I guess y'all are gonna see this video, and then the next video after that is gonna be us checking the traps. Uh, we're gonna go around and just check each one. And we might need to reset some if some got basically either fallen, got false pulled, um, or whatever. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something. Like I said in the uh, description below, I'll put the uh, link 
to the basically the website where I got these. I got them off Amazon. But if you want these exact ones, I freaking love them. They look great. Uh, really good quality. We'll see if they perform. But if you want to get some for yourself, link below. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, really appreciate if you would tap that sub button. And uh, with that, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hopefully we get some yotes. Peace.